Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here. Let's talk some mountain weather. And first off, severe clear right now in the Wasatch of Utah. We're seeing blue skies in Colorado, but I've got snow coming. I've got 20 inches in my forecast for the Wasatch starting tomorrow afternoon, continuing into Sunday. So afternoon 11:18 through 11:19. Maybe it trickles into very early 11:20, but most of that is late 11:18 through 11:19. 20 inches on the way. Here are my headlines. And that's just the, the first of three storm systems. Um, so three storm systems through 1126 now. And it's going to start to turn much colder across the Intermountain West after that 1123-1124 front, which comes straight out of Canada. Even colder air will come in behind that third one, 1125-1126. So three different shots of snow for the Wasatch. You can see the dates. In Colorado, it's very similar. Um, afternoon of the 18th through the uh, through 11:20, so it lasts a little longer in Colorado than it does in Utah. Not surprising, into 11:20, um, and then you can see the second and third chances of snow right there. So let me take you back and show you what this looks like on uh, water vapor. Let me mark the the big low here, sitting uh, now now on shore, moving on shore in California. This has really been directing traffic, atmospheric traffic, but what has happened is it's been closed off by the jet pattern here. So we've got the southern branch supporting it, but the northern branch is way up here now and doing this type of thing. So it's closed off from the low. So eventually what's going to happen is on um, 11, 18, 11, 19 is, let me just mark this in green. This low will take a southern track and there'll also be energy in the form of a cold front coming in from the north and the two are going to merge and generate snow across the Intermountain West. So that's that's what's going to happen next. And then it, and behind it, in the wake of that, in the void, there's another front that will come in, and then a third front behind that. So that's how it's going to play out. Here's forecast radar and satellite. Current state of affairs right there. And there's Saturday morning. Here's Saturday afternoon. So the low out of California is taking a southern track. In the meantime, there's a front and a storm coming out of the Pacific Northwest. And again, watch the snow generation across the Intermountain West by Sunday morning, Sunday afternoon. So it's an all-day affair on 1119 for Idaho, parts of Montana, Wyoming potentially, although Wyoming is not in the, the bullseye with this. It's really the Wasatch. So that rotation comes right through um, the Wasatch and then rolls into Colorado. Here we are on the morning of 11:20. So everything's coming to an end very quickly on the, in the morning of 11:20 in the Wasatch, the Tetons, but it's still continuing in Colorado. Again, anything across Denver in the Front Range is mainly a couple of rain showers with snow above 6,000. So the Palmer Divide, foothills, and towards the Continental Divide, southeast Colorado could get some decent uh, precip as that low spins up and then it begins to move away. There we are late in the day on 11:20 and then it's gone. So then we start to look for the next front, which comes in 11:23, 11:24. It's, it's hard to see here. But it start you could start to see it taking shape up there in the northern plains. So by the time we get into 11:23, the front's coming south into 11:24. Let's talk jet pattern. You really get a sense of this. So 11:19, really nice dip in the jet. All the energy spilling into Colorado. So you're seeing snow production um, through Wyoming, especially into Utah and into Colorado and northern New Mexico. Uh, front pattern or jet pattern number two, 1123. Look at the dip in the jet. So you're seeing that it's pulling that cold air to the south. And so you've got cold air and snow production for Utah, Colorado, Wyoming. And the last jet pattern here, this is 1126. This is the third front, third storm system. Look at the dip in the jet over Utah, over Wyoming, over Colorado. So, and, and this, the, the final two fronts have been trending stronger. And uh, and this is going to be the third one right here, 1126, 2526. We'll have the coldest air potentially of the season so far. So there's a lot going on. Let's look at totals. 1117 through 1121. I've got, again, 20 inches coming to Alta Snowbird, uh, 15 to 20 for uh, Solitude and Brighton, and then about a foot up there in Park City, Deer Valley. Um, and then you can see less amounts up there in the Tetons, anywhere from three to six. Now in Colorado, um, the western slope will do the best, anywhere from probably six to ten, maybe six to twelve. 
snow mass down to Crested Butte, a little less than Crested Butte based on the wind direction, but uh, Powderhorn will do well. Tell you ride Silverton all about a foot right there, and probably four to eight. Berthoud Pass, Vale, Breck, Continental Divide, and Winter Park, potentially a foot down in southern Colorado around Cuchara, and about six through northern New Mexico. All right, second period. Now, this is um, this is a really interesting period here because this captures the two different, the two latter cold fronts. So uh, I think with both of those combined through 1126, we're looking at at least a foot through um, the Wasatch, Alta, Snowbird, Brighton, Solitude, and about a foot up there in the Tetons. It looks pretty good for Montana, colder air, good efficiency, and in Colorado, Central and Northern Mountains, another 6 to 12. So this is going to be a, a really nice pattern between Thanksgiving and the 26th. Again, the colder air will help with efficiency, um, both of these fronts coming out of Canada. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this update. Always appreciate it, and take care.